Greetings, friends. Congratulations on the awards you'll be receiving today. Uh, my name is Wes Daniels. I'm the director of the Friends Center and Quaker Studies. And I want to offer you um, just my congratulations. And also, as I've been thinking about what it means to uh, be a student this year and for you to be um, uh, receiving these awards. Uh, one of my favorite poems comes to mind from William Stafford called The Way It Is. So let me read that to you. There's a thread you follow. It goes among things that change, but it doesn't change. People wonder about what you are pursuing. You have to explain about the thread but it is hard for others to see. While you hold it, you won't get lost. Tragedies happen. People get hurt or die. And you suffer and get old. Nothing you do can stop times unfolding. You don't ever let go of the thread. What was that thread that you hang on, hung on to this year that helped you get through? Let's take a moment of silence and reflect on all that you've been through, that thread or threads that you've hung on to, and also offer a moment of gratitude for where you are today. Join me in silence. Thank you, friends. Hello. My name is Jim Hood, and I'm the interim president of Guilford College. I'd like to welcome you to the Spring Awards Ceremony for 2021. At the close of an academic year, when there's often been very little to celebrate, I am thrilled to be here to honor you, the recipients of these awards, and to recognize publicly your wonderful achievements. Despite the diminution of our campus experiences due to the COVID-19 pandemic, despite all the fear and uncertainty, despite the frustrations of learning online and not being able just to be human with one another, despite so many things, you have been resilient, compassionate, caring, and brilliant. In short, you have been remarkable. Thank you for all you have done, and welcome. Congratulations, award winners. I'm Steve McGreen, the Dean of Students at Guilford College, and it's my honor to recognize you for your award this year. Congratulations. What a year it has been. Who knew when we started this year what would lay before us? Yet through these challenging times, you were able to thrive during the academic year, inside and outside of the classroom. Congratulations on a job well done. I'm Rob Whitnell, Interim Provost, and as we come to the end of this academic year, I have the honor to be able to recognize faculty colleagues who have received emeritus or emeritus status as they conclude their work at Guilford. This status is granted on recommendation of the president to faculty who have taught at Guilford for at least 10 years, and during that time have exemplified both the highest standards of the profession and distinguished service to the Guilford community. We thank our new Emeritus and Emerita colleagues for all their contributions to the Guilford community over many years, as many as 45 years. And we wish them well in all their future endeavors. Please join me in thanks and well wishes to Peter Bobko, Associate Professor of Business Management, Julie Burke, Associate Professor of Education Studies, Dave Dobson, Professor of Geology and Earth Sciences, Melen Dressler, Associate Professor of English and Creative Writing, Betty Kane, Professor of Business, Marlene McCauley, Charles A. Dana Professor of Geology and Earth Sciences and Sustainable Food Systems, Frank Keegan, Raymond Binford Professor of Biology, and Melanie Lee Brown, Professor of Biology. My name is Stephanie Davis, and I'm the Director of Donor Relations and Stewardship. On behalf of my colleagues in advancement, I want to congratulate all of our award winners. Many of the honors were made possible by generous Guilford College benefactors who enhanced the experience of students faculty, and staff with a range of gifts supporting scholarships, programs, and facility improvements to name a few. We are grateful for their philanthropy and for the contributions of all Guilfordians to this special community. 
It is my honor to present the Algernon Sidney Sullivan Award to our current student, Mo Ray. The Algernon Sidney Sullivan Community Award from Guilford College recognizes college students who have demonstrated noble character and acted as humble servants, placing service to others before self-interest. The award is one of the most prestigious ones bestowed upon students and is presented each year by more than 70 colleges and universities across the American South. Mo, you have embodied service to others, particularly as a student at Guilford. Here are some words about you from faculty who nominated you for this award. Mo Ray is a joyful human full of gratitude. He is a spiritual man with strong faith and belief in the good of the world. His appreciation for life and understanding of himself in the world amazes me. He is a supportive and caring community member and well respected by his peers. I see him as being the very essence of what the Guilford College community values. Mo, I want to congratulate you on this wonderful recognition of your incredible service. Thank you. I would now like to present the Algernon Sidney Sullivan Scholarship Award for a first year student. And this award goes to Gabriela Gabby Vasquez. Gabby will be graduating from Graham High School in Graham, North Carolina this June. Gabby is a high achieving student who has been very successful with advanced placement coursework through a dual enrollment program with a local community college. In addition to her academic success, Gabby currently serves as class president, president of Key Club, and captain of the women's soccer team. Besides that, she also holds a part-time job. We're really looking forward to Gabby's addition to the Guilford community as a Sullivan Scholar beginning this coming fall. Congratulations, Gabby Vasquez. A Guilford College education finds its foundation in the collaborative work of faculty and students in courses and in scholarly research and creative work. I'm pleased to be able to honor a faculty colleague who exemplifies that work with our students, Michelle Malutki, Professor of Biology, who has been awarded the Outstanding Thesis Advisor Award for the 2020-2021 academic year. Michelle's dedication to all her students, including the mentoring of many research students in her career at Guilford, is noteworthy and admirable. Michelle was nominated by her senior thesis student, Excel Valle Estrada. Excel praised Michelle's mentorship across all four of his years at Guilford and is especially grateful for the way that Michelle involves her undergraduate students in community-based research projects. Michelle Malutki receiving the Outstanding Thesis Advisor Award is a recognition of all that she has done for our students' education. Thank you, Michelle, and congratulations. Hi there, my name is Kyle Dell, and this year at Guilford College, I'm serving as the academic dean here on campus. It is my pleasure to join with others across campus in saying congratulations to every award winner here at Guilford for the 2020-2021 academic year. Your accomplishments as staff, faculty, and most importantly, students during a very difficult year are all the more impressive for your accomplishments, it is remarkable to see the excellent scholarship, the inspiring creative works, and the service that folks are bringing to our campus this past year. Your lights, while bright in a normal academic year, are even brighter during these dark times. We extend our thanks, our congratulations, and our best wishes as you look ahead to what we hope will be a more restful summer. Thank you again. In closing this ceremony, I'd like to commend to your attention, if you don't know it already, a really beautiful poem by Ross Gay entitled, Catalog of Unabashed Gratitude. 
It's way too long for me to read it here, but it captures for me what I want you all to know, just how thankful I am for your dedication, your hard work, your perseverance in the face of difficult odds. I'm gonna close with just a tiny bit from that poem because I wanna thank you and you, again you, for hanging tight, dear friend, and I want so badly to rub the sponge of gratitude over every last thing. Thank you for showing up, for doing so, so well, and for being the marvelous you that you are.